Very interesting. Dang it. Did you just punch a wall? It sounded like you punched a wall. I went to go settle things once and for all. See ya. How could this happen? I can't believe it. And he didn't even think to talk to us about it. Especially after all he said last night. Was it just to catch us off guard? Dang it, he even left his enigma behind. No luck. No one in the neighborhood has seen him around. He must have taken off in the dead of night while everyone was asleep. But where could he have gone? By settling things once and for all, did he perhaps mean the situation in mind? Yeah, that's the first answer that comes to mind. Maybe one of the guardsmen dispatched on the mountain path would know something? I wouldn't hedge my bets on that. Chief. It took him going stray for the guy to finally clean his room up for once. I already contacted the CGF, but they haven't spotted him either. I can only assume he's taking an alternate route up to mines. Never forget that he's a former veteran Jaeger. I doubt he's going to have trouble staying out of the CGF's line of sight. Well, I guess not. To be honest, I thought he trusted us more than this, if only just a bit. Well, nothing for it. We're just going to have to wait and see how things go for now. At least they didn't take Tio away from me. That would have been truly upsetting. Jaegers practically have the home field advantage in the mountains. Even if we gave chase, chances are low that we'd ever manage to catch him. Actually. I doubt Randy left for mines overnight. In fact, I wouldn't rule out the possibility that he's still in Crossbell City, even. What? What makes you think that? It's simple. If Randy's serious about engaging in combat against the Red Constellation, do you really think he'll be able to do it with nothing but a stun halberd? Valid points. Even he would not be that brazen. You're saying he'd need something that packs an actual punch, like from back in his Jaeger days. I hope Randy also gets a chainsaw gun. That would be fantastic. Which would mean all we have to do is figure out where he'd get it. Probably Ashley and Jingo? Considering his past, I'm sure Randy has a lot of experience wielding heavy weaponry. The kind of firepower can be found in the city if you know where to look. It wouldn't be crazy to assume that he has something like that stashed away somewhere either. Oh, he doesn't even need to buy it. Fair point, kid. Then we should go to all the locations in the city he's known to frequent. That way, we may be able to determine where Randy has gone. You're right. It's an idea worth trying, at least. I was thinking the same. He's had it in his prison pocket the whole time. <laughs> the joke's on me, I guess. What's wrong, Wazy? Do you think I'm off the mark with this? No. I'm simply surprised. Sounds fine by me. Your explanation was convincing enough. Anyhow, if you think he's still in the city, where do you think he went? Let me think. First and foremost, I'd suspect the downtown district. Ashley, the owner of Nine Gali Exchange, is also an arms dealer. Mr. Guillaume seems like he'd be knowledgeable when it comes to heavy weaponry, too. 
We should also consider Mr. Drake at Barca Casino. He may know of something as well. Randy was always there wasting the night away, after all. Good idea. And not to mention, Randy's known him since he first came to Crossbell, as I recall. Randy Orlando, you poor SOB. We should have known better than to try to shake the SSS. You're already hot on his tail. You got that right. It goes without saying. As leader of the SSS, I'm not about to turn a blind eye to self-serving defectors. We'll pinpoint his location and drag him back here by the scruff if I have to. Naturally. Tio is so gonna beat him up when we find him. We'll even put a leash on him. <laughs> if that's what it's going to take. Will Randy be okay? I forgot you were here, Kia. He will if we have something to say about it. We're bringing him home, and that's a promise. There's no need to worry, Kia. Just imagine what Mireille will do to him. Oh, no. Stay here and keep Sight company for us while we're gone, all right? Okay. Lloyd, everyone, be careful out there. Randy has even distressed the small child. <sighs> Randy. So we have on our agenda two shops downtown and the casino in the entertainment district. Right, though there could be more clues lying around elsewhere too. Unfortunately, we don't have time to look outside the city right now. Darn, I was going to ask the nurses at St. Ursula. On the bright side, we received no new support requests this morning. That gives us more time. I suppose it's to be expected. HQ must be in total disarray after all that happened yesterday. Though, of course, that's nothing compared to the losses suffered by the CGF. Forgive me, Noelle. Considering your position, I'm sure you're taking the news much harder than we are. No, it's okay. That's just the sort of risk that comes with the job. More importantly, I'm a member of the SSS right now. Just like Randy. Let's go bring him home. Right. And so concludes our long cutscene. Yeah, that was not as long as it could have been, thankfully. I want to talk to the chief, though. And the dog. Correct, Randy is a colossal moron. We'll drag him back at any cost, just as you said. Yeah, I second that. Our dog is so smart. Is Randy okay? I hope nothing bad happens to him. Don't worry about that, Kia. We'll find him before anything goes wrong. I swear, how heartless can Randy be, making poor Kia all upset like this? That's what I'm saying, Noel. He better be ready for the scolding of a lifetime when we find him. Yeah. I need to feed my cat before I forget. Hello, cat. Um, what do I want to give you? I could give you the turtle I just got. Do you eat turtles? Let's let's find out, I guess. Here, have a turtle. I already have that. Ugh. Thanks anyway, I guess. At least you gave me my favorite status ailment. Okay, I need to expand Ellie's slots before I forget again. I do not want to deal with her only having like 300 EP anymore. Okay. That's better. Can I make anything I care about? Mm, 
No, I don't think we can actually make anything new. I already have EP cut too, I think. Yeah, I have one. I could make another. Yeah, that's fine. Do I have action twos made? Um, I have some. Tio has an action two. He could work in an action two. I don't use Noel. I do need to work in action twos on people. Do I want to give you movement three or do I want to give Ellie the movement three? I mean, evasion three. Take your... Speed is the name of the game. Yeah, it really is. I definitely want you to have evasion two. Take this for now. Keeping Petrify, attack two, I could switch for, I think I have attack three. No, I don't have attack three, thought I did. P2 is fine. And I think I will trade luck, I think, for. Action two. You have absolute trash because I never use you. Ugh. Randy, you leaving has ruined my life. Give me an action too, for sure. I need to upgrade one of your slots. Nope, not equip. I always do that. Okay, here you go. Have action two instead. I forgot to see what Heaven's Eye does. I need to expand your slots to give you this hit three. I see that now. Combines the effects of Eagle Eye and Information. Okay, so I need to expand at least two of your slots. And I think make an evasion too. Okay. Ugh. Gonna have to get used to using Noelle again. Okay, which slot? Do this. I don't have enough. Never mind. That is unfortunate. I need to go fishing for rainbow trout again sometime soon, apparently. I can also buy Enigma covers. Noelle is a good spellcaster. Yeah. Yeah. Give me evasion two while I'm here. No. No. I think we'll put Heaven's Eye on someone else. Ugh, I don't want to take away any of your things. You need the water so that you can heal. Heaven's Eye doesn't have any water. It's four space, two fire, two mirage. Hmm. I could get rid of Prankster 
Do I need this number of wind that I have? Do I need 12? I think I do need 12. Four, holy breath, actually. Dang it. Everything is terrible. Okay, we're gonna ignore that for now until I get more stuff in. Okay, what master cords do you have? I think I already looked at those. Just, I guess, in Scepter. Um, do you have the car part that I wanted? You do not. One day. Okay, then is literally the only thing we have. We're still in chapter three. Holy crap. Truly the never ending chapter. Then I guess it's literally just talking to people that Randy knows and the usual suspects. Um, let's start with the entertainment district. I want to talk to Drake first. And then honestly, this might be the last thing we do today. I did not realize how late it is for me. Hello, everyone. I take it you've come to ask about Randy. That's right. So he was here, here earlier then, words. Yes, he walked into our establishment in the late hours of the night, around 3 a.m., I believe. Eh, that's not that late. He spent a bit of time drinking before going on his way. Then this was likely his first destination. Did he say where he was off to? It would seem I was right in suspecting that he never returned to the SSS. But sadly, no. He never specified any particular location. Though he was especially loose-lipped this time compared to his usual drinking sessions. He also retrieved a particular object of interest from me before he left. You were holding a weapon for him? And what would that be? A large trunk. I wouldn't be able to tell you what lies inside of it. Randy entrusted it to me two years ago when he first came to Crossbell. He instructed me to dismantle the contents and pawn off the pieces were he ever to die. My word. That seems uncharacteristic of him. I do happen to know a fair bit about the life he left behind. Though I confess, I can't speak as to the details of his troubles. You may be the only ones who can help him. Mr. Drake. We know. We will. Do you have anything else for me? The only thing I can offer Randy is a place to drink in peace. I have a hunch that you, on the other hand, are the only ones who can give him the help he truly needs. Good luck, everyone. I trust you to look after him. I will try. I will try. Okay. We got a new quartz fragment. So this time for real, I will I will hand over the quartz fragment and then then we'll call it a day. I see you've brought me a data fragment. I'll have to deliver it to our forensics team to have the cult terminal data analyzed. Is that all right with you? Yep. Very well, just a moment then. Page one of informational terminal three on the divine child decrypted. If you find any other quartz fragments, come back and bring them to me. You're also welcome to review the data we've already encrypted whenever you like. Right. Thanks for all your help, Rebecca. Huh. I was kind of hoping we would have another cutscene, but I guess that wasn't the last piece to another terminal. Oh well. Anyway. That is going to be it for the day. Thank you everyone for coming. Thank you again, 
Raiders. Um, what day of the week is today? It's day Wednesday. The next stream will be on Saturday for this game. Yes, to be continued. We're gonna have to lecture Randy when we find him. But have a good night. Thank you again for coming. Bye.